Welcome to the Woman Who Makes Things Happen show. My name is Agnes von Rijn, and I am a life and business success mentor to female entrepreneurs and small business owners who want to be successful, whatever that means to them, but on their own terms. I'm also the founder and the host of the Woman Who Makes Things Happen show, and today it is my privilege to be interviewing Julia Fisher. Julia is a certified health coach who works with busy entrepreneurs who want to take the next step to improve their health and through that their overall lifestyle. Because of her own journey of overcoming some serious health issues, it became Julia's passion and purpose to give back and help others to strive not only in improving their personal but also their business life. Julia mentors her clients to a less stressful, higher quality life, as well as coaches them on how to look after themselves and their eating habits through a mind and nutrition strategy. Welcome to The Woman Who Makes Things Happen, Julia. How are you? I'm good. Thanks for having me. I'm really excited for that. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. Very welcome. So uh, this is one of the uh, few experiences where, in essence, other than your biography i know nothing from you so i will be discovering you <laughs> as will the viewers so tell us more about you well i'm julia um and my journey actually started um two and a half years ago um when i was on a um, self-discovery journey you know sometimes especially as women when we are in this black hole where we do everything for others but for <laughs> ourselves <laughs> yes welcome to being a woman yeah. <laughs> so i faced that and i was going through some hard times and discover um emotional eating issues um binge eating disorder and struggled a lot with insomnia mm -hmm. and at some point i knew something has to change um i don't want to live my life being a miserable <laughs> um and just you know living my my life on other people's behalf um because i believe everyone is made for something greater and we just sometimes need this wake-up call um to step out of our comfort zone so yeah i basically started to you know take more care of myself did some or not some a lot of self-discovery things self just finding myself because I was in a position I didn't even know who am I, what am I here for, what is my purpose. So I tried that. Then I um, basically changed my overall lifestyle, living healthier, started exercising regular again, just surrounding myself with more like-minded, more positive people. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden felt amazing. <laughs> And I overcame my eating disorders. I overcame my emotional struggles. Then I dealt with candida, which is, uh, which is a uh, gut um, issue. Yep. Um, and I decided to study nutrition <laughs> to become a health coach because I wanted to help others do the same, feel the best version. Because what I realized when making this transition to be you know unhappy tired and fatigued all the time and not really myself and then knowing what it is to feel amazing you know be motivated each day and just enjoy life yeah. uh, without i don't know counting calories and stuff like that i wanted to help others especially women um because it's so hard to overcome all of that on your own and so, I, so Julia, if I, if I may interrupt you, uh, because I'd like to rewind a little bit, because um, a lot of women are facing uh, that type of, uh, you know, uh, problems uh, and, and that situation. Uh, and obviously, that's uh, why you're helping them with them. But what I would be interested in is that starting point uh, when you were saying that you wanted to better understand who you are. Uh, what your purpose is, etc. So, um, obviously, that's one of the very first things that I help my clients with uh, when I work with them. But tell us how you did that. Um, it started actually when my ex boyfriend left me, <laughs> obviously, <laughs> and um, I just didn't know what to do anymore. Like, 
okay, now I'm on my own. Um, I lost my, like, basically love of my life. I don't know, life is going to an end. And I, I was like, no, this, this can't be it. This just can't be the end. Like, I'm tw- I'm 20, I was 24 when I started, so I'm 26 mm-hmm. now. But I'm like, I'm 24, this can't be the end. So I said, okay, where do I even start? What mm-hmm. can I do to change that? I think that was the biggest struggle. Where do I even start, right? Yeah, yeah and that's, that's a struggle that most people have. That exactly. looks like, wow, it's so big and, and there's so, yeah. much, so many directions yeah. I could go into. Which one, where, where do I start? So tell us, where did you start? Well, um, I ordered a lot of books. <laughs> Um, and then I just listened a lot to um, recordings, motivational things. I started journaling, which helped me a lot mm-hmm. with like not just finding who I am, where I want to go with my life, but also with my emotional issues. Because the um, thing is, if you write everything down and start do, to do proper journaling on a proper like daily basis then your subconscious mind starts to actually put on paper what you don't want to face. Mm-hmm. That might sound weird, but that helps a lot. So I, I cannot stress enough for everyone who's going through a rough time to just start journaling and give it oh. a try. Um, so I started with journaling. Then I read some books, um, books with also introductions and motivation. So I followed that and just did a lot of reading and writing and listening basically to start with mm-hmm. and implemented it to my, my own life and my own situation. So the interesting thing with what you're describing, and, and obviously I fully second what you're saying, <laughs> as, I, as I mentioned, that's the journaling is, is, is really something that I, uh, well, in fact, when I work with my mentoring clients, usually what they get from me uh, is a beautiful notebook so that they can get, get so that they can start journaling. <laughs> um, but uh, so the, yeah, the, the interesting thing in what you were describing as a process um, is that you were obviously ready for something to change. You were at the bottom of that um, well, I would say, with a feeling of I can't go lower anymore. So now my only way is up yeah yeah exactly. yeah and and that's important because i think that a lot of people are also in a place where they want something but they aren't really ready to do something about it so so being ready is is absolutely essential you must be willing to change something otherwise it does, just doesn't work so you were ready you were yeah. definitely ready and so I you was- started shifting patterns in your eating habits etc so tell us more then yeah so um i started to take more care of myself not just you know with my mindset and you know discovering myself but i also started to like introduce more whole foods to my life i was basically eating crap all day long (laughs) um and obviously if you don't eat right you don't feel right so um i started to take more care of my eating um habits because I started working out more, doing some exercise. I was like, this, this isn't right. I can't like exercise on a regular basis with like, without eating right food. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So it was hard. I, I'm not saying here or pretend that it was easy in the beginning, especially because I try to do like a more plant-based diet. So basically almost vegan diet for like a year. Mm-hmm. Um, and you know, we are so used to our habits, like eating a lot of meat, a lot of like dairy. So when you start to, you know, eat a more plant-based diet and cut that all out, I'm like, what foods are left? Oh my yeah. God. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I learned, learned a lot of like foods about ingredients and how they really, how our body works um, and what kind of effect different foods has on our body and found that so fascinating. I experimented a lot in the beginning because obviously what do you do when you have no idea? You just mm-hmm. of course. go and try, right? <laughs> so I experienced um, a lot and got to know more foods I didn't even know were out there. Um, my, my taste buds changed. So I was like, oh, that's amazing. I didn't know that food can actually do that. So mm-hmm. yeah. And with that, I became more and more the person I am now. Mm-hmm. And 
because I just felt so much better and I was like wow life is actually great when you feel good <laughs> and when you start to take care of yourself first before you care about each and every other person mm -hmm. um, yeah <laughs> i always i always call it uh put yourself back at the center of your life step into the driver's seat um and and one of one recommendation that i would make for uh the viewers also is that um listening to you um it's very easy to start thinking oh yes but for me it doesn't work uh, because i try um and and then it doesn't work um and and i, I always say don't be hard on yourself you have constructed all those bad habits over your lifetime so it's normal that you're not going to change that in one week time um, exactly. so I like the fact that you pointed at it was difficult to yeah. you over a year etc and that you had to experiment because what works for one person doesn't necessarily work for the other person so That's work out what is good for you yeah very very good yeah mm -hmm. thank you yeah, no, that's like, I'm always saying that, like, now, especially that I'm doing that for a living, helping others to, you know, make this transition themselves. Mm -hmm. Like, the first thing is, you really need to realize you can't compare yourself to others. No. That's why I don't provide meal plans and stuff like that. Like, a lot of people coming to me like, oh, can you just make me a meal plan? I'm like, I don't know, you know, I can't, because just something works for me doesn't mean it yeah. works for you. And we are all individually. And that's what I also mean with when I say I work with a mind and nutrition strategy is I really take the individual person to look at the individual struggles and maybe even diseases and backgrounds, their lifestyle. And then I can start working with them mm -hmm. because this way we are able to create life lasting um, changes instead of, yeah. you know, another fat diet, another whatever. Um, I don't believe in dieting. No, <laughs> I, believe in I don't. Yeah. So, and as you say, it's all about habits. We are just used to what we are doing now. So it takes some time to actually give, like we need to give our body the time to create those new and better habits. And yeah. patience is actually mm. pretty important. So, yeah. So tell us a bit more. Um, so you are, you are based in Germany, right? I'm in London. Oh, you are in London now. So I, I, I thought that you were still in, Lon in, um, uh, in, uh, in Germany and that when we met, you were visiting London. So you oh. are in London. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Um, so, so who are you working with? Who, who are your ideal clients? Where are they? Um, who they are? Uh, who they are. <laughs> um, so my, my ideal clients are um, people who are ready first and foremost they they know that they need to change something and they also kind of have an idea um that like what they need to change they're just overwhelmed with how like how to even start and how it works for them because to be honest this whole nutrition lifestyle thing is so overwhelming because every day there's a new diet every day someone else is you know bringing up a new trend and saying do this instead of that blah 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 so they are pretty overwhelmed and i just help them and guide them into the right direction so they understand how food works and especially how food works for their individual needs and even though if they are pretty busy um there is still time to take care of yourself and to oh, yeah. eat right and to, you know, get healthy. So yeah, my ideal clients, they know they're ready and they just need that accountability and that guidance and that better and deep, deep, more deep understanding. It's interesting what you're saying uh, also about uh, there is always time. It, it's never a matter of time. Time is always an excuse. It just means that you didn't yeah. make it a priority. That's all. Um, and it's very interesting that once you start a process like that uh, and you start connecting, by the way, the jo journaling is very important then, um, to uh, the benefits for you, uh, then you start thinking that even if it's hard, it's worth doing it because it works. So yeah. um, I always uh, ask my clients to... Uh, basically review at the end of the day what worked what didn't work so in your case it would be around 
changing uh, health and uh, eating habits. Um, so celebrate what works because a human being is shaped like that. If they see something work, then, then they're more inclined to do the effort again until it's no longer an effort because it has changed into a habit. Um, and I do believe what you, what you say uh, is, is so true. Uh, eat, eating, um, I would say, disorders or, or um, negative eating habits and therefore their negative consequences, it's never about eating. It's never about eating. So there's so much, you know, emotional things, etc., under it. So this whole thing around connecting to who you truly are, uh, being aligned, uh, is, is really what makes the difference. Hmm. How, lo yeah. how long do people usually work with you? Well, um, I have different programs. My, like, I always like to work on a longer um, basis with people. So I have a four month program at the moment, um, which I always prefer working with people just to make sure they have this lifetime um, success. But I just released a 21 program. So that's basically just for people who need that steady accountability for like a shorter amount of time mm -hmm. because they actually almost there where they want to be they just need that last step and this yeah. last bit of like accountability but yeah my four-month program is what i prefer to work with people just to make sure they get the life changing yeah habits. and that makes sense i i fully would recommend that also to people uh watching this and listening to you uh because it is about transformation and transformation is a process it doesn't happen overnight so just going for a one month uh, program whatever it would be uh well, if, if you are just looking for a few small things, maybe, but if you're looking really for transformation, then definitely it won't work. You need to go for the longer. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah. And like, I, I figured that like the longer I work with people, the more likely they are not giving up mm -hmm. because now they know like the first month is always the hardest. That's when we really face the struggles and mm. what's working and what is and um but after the four months they are really able to you know even in difficult days because we all have difficult days and had it even of i course. like sometimes feel not like eating good or working mm. out stuff like that so it's human we need to realize that it, this is neutral but what what happens over the four months i show them how to get through this day like even the even this seems like the worst day you've ever had i you're still able to take care of yourself and especially on those days. So this is really what the four months is there for to, you know, understand how to go through those hard times, through those stressful days and how to not give up because that you can't really achieve in like an hour consultation or even in a no. 21 day if working with me, but to really have that like, long accountability that long guidance and to just yeah get you out of the struggle yeah and i think what you're saying is is really important is that aspect also of doing things like that on your own is 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 almost doomed to fail uh yeah. so having having someone uh i wouldn't call it holding your hands because i mean they have to do the work but but having <laughs> someone supporting you uh but also someone with that accountability dimension is what makes the difference that's where that's when you can start succeeding yeah exactly like i mean you can put on google okay how do i lose weight how do mm -hmm. i get but if you can get all the resources on your own you can okay but how do you implement that right yeah. and then after a week you see oh i don't have the changes i really wanted to or this and that is not working so you really of course you can all the you can get all the resources on your own but to really have someone who first and foremost was there yes like i've been there myself so Being i know there. how it is i know you know how we get you through that and to accountability is like the most important thing actually with working with someone um no matter in what area is it like a life coach a business coach a health coach like myself it's all about accountability because if you have that one person you you meet on a regular basis you're it's not like you're more likely to not give up because you actually have someone you need to like get you know talk to and see oh no I didn't do that and then you know you're more likely to succeed if you have someone you need to 
prove your results too. So. No, no, abso absolutely. Uh, there's one analogy that I like to make is that um, because all of that, in fact, the type of challenges we're facing are heavy. Uh, so I, um, I like to make that analogy of a mentor or a coach, whatever you want to, to call it, is like uh, uh, um, holding, it's like a mirror. But that mirror is heavy, so you absolutely need your two hands to hold it. If you yeah. are having your two hands to hold it, how can you do something? You can't do it anymore. So the coach or the mentor is holding that mirror for you, and you have your hands free to start actually working on changing things for you. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. And like you said, like, I can tell you to do push-ups, but I can do the push-ups for you. So exactly. that's what people need to realize as well you actually need to do the work we are just Absolutely. here to help you and be like guide mm -hmm. you and support you but we can't do it for you i can't like sit around you like 24 7 and see like see yes. what you're doing absolutely so it's so important <laughs> So, uh, Julia, uh, because time is stretching and goes quickly, uh, tell us where people can find you. Um, well, I have a homepage. It's blossomyoursoul.com. Um, and also on social media, that is Facebook and Instagram, as well as Snapchat. So if you want to see my behind the scene live, follow me on Snapchat. It's also Blossom Your Soul. Yeah. And reach out to me like via email or phone. I suppose that you uh, work virtually as well, not only in person. Yeah, so my, my main work at the moment is actually online. So mm. wherever you are in the world, that's no problem. <laughs> Don't let distance stop you. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> I, I always say as a joke, although myself, I don't use Skype uh, for client work, but as a joke, I always say it's not Sky that is the limit, it's Skype that is the limit. <laughs> if there is no internet connection, we, have a trouble. we are in trouble. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Um, do you have any um, gender? Do you, do you work with women only? Do you work with men and women? Uh, is there a specific age age range that you would work with or what well no like as soon as someone is committed and you know really wants to work with me i don't say no you're like a male i don't want to work with you at all okay. i do small on women no offense I, like like i said i don't mm -hmm. but yeah <laughs> and at the moment i have clients from like the age of 30 to 45 so just don't hesitate and think. Okay, perfect. I'm old. You're never too old, by the way. Like, even if you're like 80, you still can change your life. Oh, saying. absolutely. <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> yeah. I, I like, completely changed my life at 58. So, uh, no, no, definitely. There is no, it's never too late. I think that's what my Skype line says. Uh, it's never too late to reinvent uh, yourself. No, to step into the driver's seat of your life and reinvent it. Yes, no, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, as long as you are willing and committed and, uh, you know, able, like committed to have some hard times in order to get a great life, then yeah, I'm your, yeah. I'm your. It's, <laughs> it's, it's all about uh, readiness um, and willingness, as you say. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Exactly. The commitment with it. Julia, this was lovely. Uh, and I'm delighted to realize that you are based in London so we can see each other yeah. again. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so for uh, the viewers and the listeners, uh, if you too uh, want to reinvent your life or if you too want to go after your dreams, uh, you can actually um, get a free consultation with me uh, by going to my website, agnesvanrijn.com. That is A-N-Y-E-S-V-A-N rhijn.com and uh, for those of you who are based in London I'm running on the 23rd of July that's a Saturday afternoon to to, two to five sorry uh, a half day workshop uh, on how to overcome your fear because what is stopping us most of the time is fear uh, so if you are interested on the same website, agnesvanrijn.com, uh, you, you go to the navigation bar and it says workshops and you will find all the information you need there. Julia, thank you so much for this interview. I've really enjoyed it. Uh, thank yes, you so much. Anyway. And uh, well, looking forward to seeing you again. Thanks. Yeah, bye. Too. Yeah, bye.